In this video, we will be facing three different metals, aluminum, low carbon steel, and stainless steel. Special thanks to OnlineMetals.com who has provided all the material used in this demonstration. We selected feeds and speeds for these demonstrations with the help of G-Wizard, the Online Machinist's calculator. The first demonstration will be done on aluminum using our 38mm insert face mill using APGT carbide inserts. These are modern geometry positive inserts with wiper edges made by Mitsubishi Materials. These inserts have a high polish on the face to deter chip welding. We've chosen to dry cut for video clarity here. Most of these cuts would benefit from the use of flood coolant. For aluminum, the inserts are made with a cemented carbide, grade H tie 10. This is important for a soft metal like aluminum, as chip welding will lead to poor finish quality. Aluminum cuts easily. We are taking a 20 thou depth to cut at 90 inches per minute. This is the max feed rate possible on our PCNC 1100. Positive inserts are advantageous for limited horsepower spindles. Although the cutting edges are more brittle, they don't take as much force to push through the metal. For the next demonstration, we'll be cutting 1018 low carbon steel. This is the same 38 millimeter face mill as before, but the inserts have been switched out to an APMT geometry, which has a stronger edge that is less prone to chipping. This steel is about 50% harder than the previous aluminum, and edge chipping of the inserts can be a concern. You'll notice we are taking a slightly deeper cut, but at a much reduced feed rate. The RPMs are also slow. By slightly decreasing the depth of cut, we are able to nearly double our feed rate. This actually improves our overall metal removal rate by approximately 30%. The large amount of heat generated during the cutting process increases the oxidation on the surface of the chips. That's why they're brown, blue, and color. For the final demonstration in this video, we are cutting 304L stainless steel. Stainless steel has a well-deserved reputation for being difficult to machine. The surface speed is even slower here than with the previous steel. We are again using the same inserts we used with the low carbon steel cut. Prior to the cut, we sprayed a cutting fluid on the surface to lubricate the tool. This smoke you see here is the burning off of the fluid. With stainless, you'll often see increased burning when first facing the mill surface. This is because of oil residue present on the surface from the plate rolling process. The second pass doesn't smoke, since the oil was removed with the previous pass. You can see sharp jagged burrs left on the cut edge of the center aisle.
stainless steel work hardens significantly as it's being cut. The machine surface becomes significantly harder, two to three times or more. It's necessary to make sure that the next pass you take is underneath that hardened layer, which can extend as much as 30 thou below the surface.